Intervertebral disc disease, or IBDD, is one of the conditions most frequently seen in veterinary neurology. It is rarer in cats, but is the most common spinal cord disorder in dogs. You may have also heard of IBDD referred to as bulging, slipped, herniated, or ruptured disc. Clinical signs depend on where the affected disc is located and the extent to which the spinal cord is being compressed. Intervertebral disc disease can occur anywhere along the spine, including the neck. However, the most common site is the mid-back or the thoracolumbar region, which can cause neurological signs in the hind limbs. Symptoms of thoracolumbar IVDD are graded on a scale of one to five. Grade one is pain only. This means that pets are able to walk normally. They may show signs of back pain, such as not wanting to jump or move, shivering, walking slowly or gingerly, crying, muscle spasms, arching the back, or a tense belly. Grade two is limited mobility. Pets are still able to walk, but are weak and wobbly in their rear limbs. They may cross, splay out, or stumble over their back legs, or walk with their back paws knuckled under. Grade three is non-ambulatory paraparesis. This means that pets are too weak in their rear limbs to stand or walk. They're able to move their limbs and wag their tail. Grade four is paraplegia. Pets cannot stand, walk, or move their rear limbs. However, they're still able to feel their toes. Grade five is paraplegia with absent nociception. Pets cannot stand, walk, move, or feel their rear limbs. Depending on the severity of signs, your pet can be treated either medically or surgically. In many mild cases, conservative medical management with the right combination of strict rest, pain medication, anti-inflammatories, and muscle relaxers can be successful. However, in more serious cases, surgical intervention may be necessary to relieve spinal cord compression. Either way, the sooner IVDD is attended to, the better the prognosis. Therefore, we strongly recommend visiting a veterinary neurologist as soon as possible. This will not only give your pet the best chance of recovery, but will also rule out any other neurological condition that can look like IVDD.